Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Laura and Michael to 5 and to 6 meet while attending a lecture concerning a rare human metabolic disease that is inherited as an autosomal recessive trait. They both have a sibling who has this disease. They fall in love but are apprehensive about having children since they know that the chance that their first child to be affected is and you have to choose one of these answers. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And probably most of you already guess that um, this is autosomal recessive genetic disorder. That's why parents are phenotypically normal, but uh, some of the children have this genetic disorder. So genotype of the parents have to be capital A small a, capital A small a, and those which are affected small a small a. And those which are not affected, it can be anything where the homozygous dominant or heterozygous. And the same picture is here. Both these parents are heterozygous and they have affected daughter. And phenotype of the rest is normal, but we don't know whether it is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So we just put capital A and blank space uh, in order to show that second allele can be anything. Now let's calculate probability that Laura, uh, which is here, she is 2,5 and Michael, who is here, are going to be heterozygous. In this case, if they are both going to be heterozygous, they may have affected child. So let me put this child of unspecified sex here. Because this is not a sex link uh, genetic disorder, but autosomal recessive genetic disorder. And if both of them are going to be heterozygous, let me put genotypes of the parents here. On, and if we build simple Punnett square, we can predict probability that this people here are heterozygous. Take a look. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So if we know that parents are heterozygous, so probability for Laura to be heterozygous is going to be not 50% as many of you may think, because we know that uh, Laura is not homozygous recessive. So we can exclude this variant and actually her probability to be heterozygous as you see would be two out of three. So two thirds. And the same probability for Michael to be heterozygous, both his parents are heterozygous and probability for him to be heterozygous is also going to be two thirds. And if they are both heterozygous, probability for them to have affected child, as you see, would be one quarter. So we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and what we are going to have. Four over uh, three multiplied by three is going to be nine and multiplied by four is going to be four over 36 and we can reduce these numbers by 4. So we are going to get 1 ninth. So probability that Michael and Laura would have affected child is going to be 1 ninth. This is around 11% and this is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.